the other way. One of the emphasis again this year is pivot foot, establish a pivot foot. Blocker. A little pitter patter before you start with that drive. Great ball movement by the Bulls. It's another turnover. That's now four turnovers here against Buffalo in the first six minutes of action. 11 9 is our score here. That's the, a concern for the Bulls. 30 Roman. against James Madison. Roman Penn in the game for Drake. He's a grad student. Transfer from Siena has been with the Bulldogs since the 18-19 season. And he is a huge veteran presence when he's out on the court. The all-time assist leader for the Drake Bulldogs. Preseason, all Missouri Valley Conference selection. Hardman, an and one opportunity as he gets the foul on DeVries. That's number two on Tucker DeVries. Uh, they missed the first foul. Watch this contact by DeVries right bang there. I think he missed him on the second one, but he got the whistle, and DeVries going to have to take a seat. Hardnett up to the line. A four-point lead for the Bulls, an opportunity to add one to it. That's a big foul. And that's what the Bulls do. They attack you, and that DeVries, Valley preseason player of the year, is going to have to take a seat. 13-20 left in this half. There's Jam Goose on the shot. Wilkins on the floor now for Drake. Here's Calhoun back to Penn. Penn knocks it in. Drake's zone attack. They ran the point guard in the high post. We've seen him do that before with wings and points in that free throw area with success. It's Jones with that floater. Jones. Leading the Bulls in scoring this season, averaging 12 a game. Jones with a really nice photo. We've seen that dribble drive from him throughout this game. Old school mid range game. Curtis Jones. Northweather, the pen out to Wilkins, fires the three and rattles it home. Now Drake likes to send their point guard in the middle of that zone because Roman Penn is such a great passer. Wilkins slides the open wood, bangs home the three for the Bulldogs. Nice blocker on the drive. Shifty move. Rebounded by Northweather. Good first step by Blocker, but he couldn't finish. There's Penn off the glass. Challenged by Jack. Now Hardnett in transition gets the layup. Nice dish from Devin Caesar, the freshman point guard on the floor. Run with Jones. At their best playing downhill, Brad. They get out in the open space. They are going to attack the rim. Calhoun rises and drives in a three. Outstanding three-point shot by Calhoun. He's shooting 50% on the season. It's a small sample size of only a couple games, but he is a threat from outside. Hardnett the follow gets an easy two. Hardnett's going to work here. Seven points. And since he transferred, good job on the baseline. The take by Wilkins. Hermes' shooter kind of working into driving the ball a little bit more so he's not one-dimensional. We had that ACL surgery. He's wearing, not wearing any type of sleeve on his knee. Looks 100% DJ Wilkins. For it in the regular season finale at the end of last year. Blockers threes off the mark. Here's Calhoun, the long rebound. Wilkins steps back behind the line, lets it fly. Good defense by Blocker. Was right in the grill of Wilkins. That was a tough shot. Great get some good mileage inside from Norweather. Hardnett trying to get involved. He's leading the Bulls with nine points. He's got it, fires the deep two. 10 with the rebound, maybe not the shot 
they were looking for. Well, a few times they didn't dribble drive in pits before they shot or try to score off the bounce. Calhoun lost it. That's the second time he's just lost the ball. And now attacking is Caesar. Missed it. Wilkins well, to the corner. Jam Goose sets his feet and drills it. Drake in front. Jam Goose can light it up from the three. Tucker DeVries still on the bench as he picked up that second foul. They've taken the lead with him out. Jam Goose's only attempts on the season all have come from outside that three-point line. Hardnett gets attacked by Penn, and it's going to be a foul on Roman Penn as we step aside for a commercial break. Drake takes the lead up by two over Buffalo. The Paradise Jam throughout the day today. Game two will be Howard and Wyoming. But a good one here so far in game number one, 22-20. Drake the two-point lead. Both teams with a player in foul trouble. Buffalo with two. There's another turnover on the Bulls. That's number five in the game. Well, that's key. No empty possessions on that timeout. Empty possession by the Bulls. And they've got the zone a couple possessions ago and went back to the man-to-man -man pressure. Drake has had three turnovers thus far. But neither team really capitalizing off of those turnovers. The following possession is Wilkins gets it to Brody. Brody's been tough inside, and now a foul inside on Smith. And now Joe Smith. He's the third Buffalo player, Kevin, with two personal fouls here in this first half. You already have... Adams and Powell on the bench. That's the aggressiveness of Buffalo. They have to play what I call hands-free defense. Keep your hands off. And boy, that, that's the one that drives you nutty as a coach. You got inside position, a missed free throw, and you don't retain possession. Good look at Roman Penn. You mentioned earlier, Brad, he's on a minutes restriction. Freshman right there on your screen. Connor Enright, redshirt freshman. Run the show for the Bulldogs. Inbounds it to Wilkins. Wilkins into the lane and adds two to his total. DJ Wilkins now with seven. He's the leading scorer for Drake. How about that move? The soft floater with the left hand by DJ Wilkins. Enright takes the charge. Tab it to Foster. And Foster commits his first personal foul. Darren DeVries stressed one-on-one -on, -one on the ball defense with his team in the scout report. Enright, excellent job of moving laterally, taking the contact, throwing the charge, and there's another turnover for Buffalo. Eight team fouls on the Bulls as well. Here's Calhoun firing the deep three, rebounded by Jack. Just checked in on the floor with Adams, Blocker, Jones, and Foster. Tucker DeVries back in for the Bulldogs with two fouls. Isaac Jack looking against Darnell Brody. Gets the baseline and draws the foul. Another and one opportunity coming for Buffalo. This is a guy that Jim Weissel really likes. Isaac Jack. He had nine in that loss against UConn. All right, timeout on the floor. We'll step aside. 24-20 from Illinois State. He knows these Drake Bulldogs pretty well. For an ACL. That big year last year for Illinois State. 13 points a game. Great in the glass. One of the top shot blockers in the Missouri Valley. And now the transfer sitting out at Buffalo. Calhoun shoots. That is a foul on Adams as Adams on the floor playing with two picks up his third personal. Coming off the bench adds 
About four seconds of playing time here before committing the foul. Calhoun really elevates on those three-point shots. His great upper body strength and balance on his shot, and there's that Carter rule, do not foul a three-point shooter. Adams going to have to take a seat. And this is a guy, Isaiah Adams, that Jim Weissel told me right before the game, he said, i got to get some mileage out of Isaiah Adams. 13 points against Colgate, 7 points, 4 rebounds against UConn for the transfer from Central Florida. And Calhoun connects on all three free throws. 27 for the Bulldogs. Very talented Buffalo team. Trying to blend a lot of new faces. I like this young man here, Isaac Jack. Jack against Brody has been a fun matchup to watch. Different styles of physique, but look at him battle for that rebound. Last Jack, touch by Jack. Jack grew up as a hockey player. He's only been playing hoops for about five years. 6'11 hockey player. 6'11 hockey player. On skates. Tucker DeVries comes onto the floor for the Drake Bulldogs, so he'll play with two personal fouls as Calhoun checks out for a breather here at the seven-minute mark of the first half. And right. Gets by Jones. Kanye Jones on the floor for Buffalo. They're 11 deep now in this first half. Sturt's offensive rebound ripped away by Hardnett and gets it back. Wilkins pull up jumper, tough shot. And Jones secures it for the Bulls. Sturt's trying to get extra possession for the Bulldogs that didn't pay off. Curtis Jones. The shot off the mark. And now Enright. The dish to Sturts and the foul on Jones. And it'll be Garrett Sturts up to the free throw line. Brad Sr. from Newton, Iowa. Good push by Enright. Transition. Now redshirt freshman's got a lot of practice time with Penn's injury. And Sturts is that young guy from Newton, Iowa that's always in the right place at the right time. The former walk-on for the Bulldogs. He is the career active leader in the Valley in points, rebounds, steals, and free throws attempted. He has a hard hat that has become his mantra when he is on the road at home. He's the guy that puts in work. Kevin, he does so many little things that help make this team a winning team. And what did he tell you? He was up to 178 pounds before the game. This is Foster earning a trip to the free throw line. Drawing the foul. On the drive. Well, Bulls continue to turn the corner. And get their feet in the paint. Something Buffalo has needed to do more is get to the free throw line. They've allowed their opponents to attempt almost twice as many free throws as they have on this season. And before those two, it was exactly the case here. Ten attempts for Drake to five for Buffalo before those two by Foster. And they're now Brody at the line quite a bit has not, not been able to cash in. Sturts misses. Rebound by Hardnett. There's Foster. Nice dump off Jack with the finish. Great penetration by Foster. Then that pocket bounce pass underneath the hands of the defense. Jack picks it up and finishes. There's DeVries back in the game. Out to Calhoun for three. And Calhoun, another triple. His second of the game, he's got nine. That's a sweet looking J by Calhoun. Scored 35 points in the preseason exhibition game. 
has played without DeVries, Penn, Wilkins, and Sturts. Well, this is a Drake team that lost two starters off the team last year that finished second in the Valley. And they brought in Calhoun to give him some athletic ability after the graduation of Tank Hemphill and also Tremel Murphy, who was their enforcer inside. Drake Calhoun, Calhoun gives him that explosiveness and that three-point range. We're going to stretch the defense. Drake was 25 and 22 a season ago. Darren DeVries, the head coach for Drake, currently in his fifth year, a two-time Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year for Buffalo Jim Whitesell in his fourth season as head coach, his eighth overall with the Bulls. Jim Whitesell, an Iowa native, grew up in Iowa Falls, played at Luther College, coached at Loyola. Lewis College. Facing the Drake Bulldogs out of Des Moines, Iowa. Hardnett in trouble. Foster back to Hardnett for three. It's good. Hardnett with his first triple attempt of the game. He's only missed one shot. He's got 12 points. Hardnett is giving a big lift off the bench. That time just moved the open spot. Bulldog defense collapsed. He got an easy three. Brody out to Penn. Penn looking against Powell, who's playing with two fouls. Now a push ahead to Jones. Jones the deep two. Rebounded by Tucker. DeVries. You like the bright shoes of Tucker DeVries, Kevin? The feet inside for Sturts. It Calhoun. makes him look faster. It makes him look faster. How about the green shoes? You tell shoes? him that, he'll keep wearing them. How about the green shoes out there? For Hardnett? By Hardnett, I like that. Those look like beach shoes. Kinda, and they guard they both, each other. They guard it's a little island vibe going on, tropical paradise. They look like that shirt you bought the other day on the beach. Well, it reminds me of the fish I saw swimming when I was snorkeling the other day up at Pokey Beach here on St. Thomas Island. Foster splashes it in. And Buffalo up three. Draws a timeout. Three minutes to play first half. It's the Bulls in front of Drake here in the U.S. Virgin and of your screen there, behind the hoop. Well, that's a great shot of the beach zone. You got a little tiki bar over there. We may have to visit that at halftime. Sailboats in the gymnasium here. We're on campus of the U.S. Virgin Islands. We are on St. Thomas Island. Darnell Brody with the shot. Cannot end Drake's scoreless drought that's... Over two and a half minutes now. Buffalo on a 7-0 run to take this three-point lead. Here's Foster rising. Harden it. The putback won't fall, but a foul is called. And that goes on Darnell Brody inside as Tucker DeVries playing with two personal fouls. Harden it with a... Big boy rebound, just went in and snatched that one off the rim. A chance to cash in at the free throw line. First free throw is good. Northweather back into the game for Drake, as is Wilkins, as Brody and DeVries check out. Now both coaches are trying to manage foul issues here throughout this first half. That was Brody's second personal foul. DeVries with two, and then Jim Weitzel's got a couple players with some foul issues, and Powell's at Powell with two, and Adams picked up his third. Smith also with two. Roman Penn, the jumper, and Powell the rebound. Joe Smith, only four minutes of action, picking up two fouls. Foster the drive, that's kicked by Northweather. Foster's being in great penetration. 
for Buffalo into the paint, get his feet set. I like his explosiveness. He is fast with the ball in his hands. A good look at Darren DeVries. He's had four 20, 20 plus season win seasons for the Bulldogs. Zid Powell can stroke it. He had 24 against Colgate. Knocks in a triple right there. Well, Zid Powell once had 81 in a Juco game in honor of Kobe, Kobe Bryant. <coughs> Starts with a two-point answer. Ends the scoreless drought. Over three minutes. Ends an 11-0 Buffalo run. There's an offensive foul. This will be an illegal screen on Jack. That is the second time now that Buffalo's been called for illegal screens. That is mentioning a emphasis by the rules committee this year is you've got to be set on those screens. Buffalo's been changed up between man-to-man -man and zones throughout this first half. Roman Penn getting Kanye Jones up but cannot get the shot to fall. A really good defense by Jones on Penn. Jack wants to go to work against Northweather. Nice finish with the left hand. Not bad for playing ball just the past five years. Outstanding footwork by Jack inside on the post. Final minute of our first half. The Bulldogs trying to cut into that seven-point Buffalo lead. Calhoun's been the answer for Drake. That will not fall. Now ahead to Harden it. Working against Sturts, and Sturts takes the charge. And that'll be the first personal foul on Harden it. Again, Drake getting back and getting set, drawing that contact. Big possession here for Drake. Down seven. Tucker DeVries back in. His last possession of two fouls. Wilkins in. Calhoun in. A timeout taken by Buffalo head coach Jim Whitesell. Working with a seven-point lead. Uh, coach yes. Whitesell understands this possession is huge. If he can get a pieces with the old. Looks like a zone here from Buffalo. Switched into this 2-3 zone earlier to try and disrupt some Drake rhythm. Roman Penn with the basketball. He's going to go with six seconds left. Pull up jumper. No good. Penn wanted a foul. Harden it. A full court heave from across the island. Did not get it off in time, but Buffalo has a seven-point lead here at the break as they are led by Laquil Hardnett, the senior, with 13 points. I really like the effort by Buffalo in this first half. Lots of penetration, and they were really good with the basketball. We mentioned only... Bring a mic. Go ahead, guys. Second half is underway as the Buffalo Bulls working with a seven-point lead here at that Buffalo shot, 54% from the floor and won the rebounding battle in that first half, Kevin. 24 points from Foster and Hardnett of their 40. Bulldogs have to get those two under control. And Buffalo battled some foul trouble in that first half. Adams has three as we begin the second half. That's DeVries from the top of the key for Drake. He has two personal fouls as well. For Buffalo, Powell and Smith and Jack, each with two personal fouls in that first half. For Drake, we mentioned DeVries playing with two. Darnell Brody also with two fouls in that first half. He grabs the rebound off the miss by Curtis Jones. Good block out by Brody. And then a nice screen to get Wilkins free for the jumper. D.J. Wilkins with nine points now. Had seven in that first half. 
Three of six shooting from the floor, one triple. Here's Jones from deep. Coming up with a rebound is Connor Enright. The redshirt freshman with the start today is Roman Penn, still on a minute's restriction. As DeVries gets the turnaround jumper to go, and DeVries trying to get it going early here in the second half. Well, we talked about a mid-range game that Tucker DeVries has. That is a difficult move. He drives and pivots into a Larry Bird-type fadeaway. Foster, 11 points in that first half. But Powell loses it. And here comes Enright. Enright working against Foster. And the foul underneath on Foster. As we saw early foul trouble against Buffalo. Then they kind of adjusted and settled into a nice defensive rhythm. I've been impressed by Buffalo's ability to handle the basketball. That has been a problem for them. Is they're in attack mode, but they've been very somewhat clean with that basketball, although they do have 10 turnovers here in this game. A lot of those were a few picked up some charge the first half, and there's the, speaking of turnovers, there's the Bulldogs thrown away on an inbounds play. How about Curtis Jones with the steal defensively? The Bulls 14th in the nation in steals per game at 12.3. Leads all max schools. Well, the Bulls have quick hands and active feet. Sturts just about got that to fall. Fouled while receiving the pass. Jones whistled for the foul. Well, Sturts now known as the hard hat. But in the past, he was called the back cut ninja. Great bounce pass by Wilkins to a cutting Sturts. Sturts with five first half points. A couple of rebounds, a do it all kind of an athlete at 6'3, 180 pounds out of Newton, Iowa. He Starting this, quarterback in high school. Yeah, option guy told us, he said, hey, I just faked the pitch and ran it every time. Said he remembers one passing touchdown. The rest of them all came on the ground. There's Powell, 6'4", junior from Philadelphia. A good first step by Powell. Then he's able to get elevate and finish with the kiss off the window. Powell's a guy that can fill it up in a hurry as well. 24 points against Colgate. UConn held him in check. That was their emphasis. We'll get a back cut goal, but this Powell is starting to field here in the second half. Another great drive and finish. Sid Powell out of Harcum Junior College, the all-time leader in points, assists, and steals. As Brody catches it on the block. Leaning on Smith, the dump off to Enright and the finish. Oh, Enright with a back cut defender got caught watching the paint dry. An easy basket for Drake. Wilkins locked on to Powell. Wilkins, the best defenders in the valley. There's Jones guarded by Sturts to harden it. Back and down Wilkins has the advantage and gets the shot to fall. 15 now for Hardnett. Hardnett at 6'8", had Wilkins on him. Wilkins at 6'2", took him right to the paint. Soft hook over the top. Good recognition of the mismatch. And now the zone by Buffalo. We saw in the first half had some success. DeVries lost it. Buffalo comes up with a steal. Jones stripped by Enright, but it's going to be an easy two for Powell. Six points here for Powell in this second half. One of the things the zone does for you, Brad, it allows you to start your fast break if you get a turnover because your guards are up front. Great example. Two on one. Easy basket by Buffalo. DeVries left open top of the key. Fires the three and knocks it in. Tucker DeVries now with eight. Makes his first three of the game after starting 0 for 3. Defense, 
Five minutes into the second half. Timeout coming at our next dead ball. Curtis Jones out of Minneapolis, Minnesota gets it down to Smith. Challenges Brody and wins the battle. Joe Smith, a nice take. The Seton Hall transfer. Slithered on the baseline. Able to come up the other side. The lefty able to finish on the left side of the basket. And a turnover by Drake Brody. Just threw it right at the ankles of Wilkins. And we are at a timeout. Tucker DeVries trying to thus far. 15 points to go along with his eight rebounds. Approaching a double-double here in game one of the 2022 U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. Buffalo shooting into the beach zone here in this second half. Drake comes out of that timeout with a zone. First time we've seen it this game by the Bulldogs. Smith took an extra step after he saw how wide open he was on that right side. Surprised him. Got a little excited. Joe Smith on that baseline. Thought he's going to go in there and do a power dunk. Drug that pivot foot. Buffalo back in their man. Buffalo up seven. But Drake took Brody an early to five-point lead, and it's been, Buffalo has controlled this game since that time. For Buffalo, Zid Powell has come alive. Six points for him in the second half. Tucker DeVries for Drake with five here since we've started the second half. Roman Penn whistled for the foul on Foster. And that'll be number two on Roman Penn. Well, one of the keys we mentioned for Buffalo is they had to blend these new players with the old. They've done a nice job in this game. It really looks like a much, co a very cohesive unit. And that's difficult to do. But one of the great things about this tournament, Brad, you've got three games in four days. Your guys are together on the beach. Take them on that catamaran. It really helps bond your team, especially when you've got some new faces, as Jim Weissel has with the Bulls. Yeah, Coach said, first, there's good teams here. You'll see where you're at pretty quick, but it really does help for quick growth and really will build that chemistry. And then he said, it's just unbelievable the places the game of basketball can take you to come down here to Paradise on St. Thomas Island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. As they're coming off a day they had three time from one to seven yesterday. Well, Lock it these, in for some hoops today. Both these teams, uh, Drake and Buffalo, come from, from places that get a little snow this time of year. <laughs> Sid Powell <clears throat> nearly took it away from DeVries. Quick hands. You see the defense locked in for Buffalo here in game one. Well, you have to secure the basketball if you're going against Buffalo because they are going to try and knock it loose. Start that break. Darnell Brody inside. And a foul on the rebound. I think this is on Jones. It is. Curtis Jones picks up the foul. And that's personal foul number three on Jones. Drake really likes to use the high post screen, especially with Brody. And then the pocket bounce pass. Roman Penn, where Drake excels at bouncing that ball underneath the defense. They had Calhoun open on that OB play, but missed him. Jam Goose and Calhoun on the floor for Drake. DeVries drives. Darnell Brody able to finish. I thought that was goaltending. Looked like it got touched after it hit the glass. Great timing by Brody to come off that weak side. The penetration drew his defender, gave him a free run with a tip in. Jones out to Harden. He'll fire the three. Too strong. Calhoun's going to drive. Attacks the rim. Plays through contact and finishes. A little hesitation at three-point line. Throws the defense. Then Calhoun turned the Jets on. 
Sidar Calhoun, 6'6 senior from Tappahannock, Virginia, out of Blue Ridge High School. Is at Texas Tech last season? It was a freshman, Brad. He was at Florida State, and he averaged about five points a game for Leonard Hamilton's crew. There's Hardnett inside. Draws the foul. And this may go on DeVries. It does. Tucker DeVries whistled for the foul. That's number three on the Missouri Valley Conference preseason player of the year. And a timeout on the floor. Media break. Buffalo by five. This is our opening game of the 2022 U.S. Virgin Islands to play here in this second half. Hardnett. One time at Cincinnati, but has spent the last three seasons with Buffalo. A lot of newcomers on this team, but Hardnett, always good at the field goal percentage. Career, he's 63% and having himself a game here. Six of eight from the floor so far. He's been sensational for the Bulls. 17 points, nine rebounds. One shy of a double-double. And Hardnett came in this game just averaging a little over four points per game. He's had some games where he has been able to fill it up. A 20-point, 10-rebound performance a couple seasons ago against Central Michigan. Here's Penn in trouble. Out to Jam Goose. And Penn will reset. Six on the shot clock now. Loader from the free throw line. No good. Corralled by Adams underneath. Great pressure defensively by Kenya Jones. It took Drake out of rhythm, what they want to do offensively. His pressure on the ball. Three from Adams, rebounded by Brody. And DeVries goes inside of the big man, two-hand flush. Isaac Jack got caught trying to go around from behind the big man Brody to front. That is a no-no for a postman when that ball's in the air. Leads to a dunk. Calhoun applies the defense on Foster. Shot clock at seven. And stepping out of bounds is Adams. Adams looking for a foul in that move. DeVries. Guardian, that been an issue if you picked up on DeVries. Here's the feed inside, and Jack gambled, went for the pass deflection. Well, you can't do that because your help side defense can't get through in time. See, Jack tries to get a piece of it. Big shoulders by Brody. Bends him off, and an easy basket for the Bulldogs. Jam Goose misses everything. Connor Enright on the floor for Drake. Laquil harden it. Checks back in for Buffalo. Now, Roman Penn, we mentioned earlier, he's coming off foot surgery. Minute restriction, so he's getting about five or six minutes at a time, and the freshman in right back in. Powell gets his own rebound. The putback is good. Well, when you miss a shot, you know it as a player. Powell knew that one was short, went right back and got it, tipped it in. Powell now with 13 points. Here's Calhoun. Looking for his first points of. Buffalo's been outstanding on building their wall. We saw that mistake by Isaac Jack, but other than that, they've been really good on the ball, Brad. They've kept Drake from penetrating, and we know that's what Drake loves to drive the nail and kick it out. They have not been able to get in a good offensive flow. There's Calhoun finds a two. That's the same OB play we saw earlier when Penn missed Calhoun. DeVries came back to it in right with the assist. Calhoun off the window. Buffalo up five with a basketball. Zid Powell. Shot no good. Finds his own rebound. And right. Harden it on the court. Jack out to Jones. Rebounded by Calhoun. Drake with an opportunity to cut it to a one possession Buffalo lead. And DeVries for three makes it a two point game. You have to find number 12 in transition. 
The Bulls fell asleep. Jim Weiss will want to talk this one over. Tucker DeVries knocks it in. Charmin. Knocks in a three right before that timeout. He's into double figures with 11. And Drake comes out showing some full court pressure. Trying to come back. Seemingly, Kevin, through this game, and Buffalo's had their lead. Drake has thrown some punches, but Buffalo's been able to respond. They'll need to respond again. They've done a really good job. They've had leads up to nine. Drake has made runs, but they've had big hoops. Like that one right there by Jones to hold off this Drake run. Curtis Jones, just his second basket of the game. Has four points, three rebounds, two assists, two steals. He will do it all for this Bulls team. Good sign for a young team like Buffalo with new players that they've been able to stop Drake. As they've gotten some comfortable leads. Rebound for Foster. Foster then does it on the offensive end as well. Foster now with 15. Getting in the paint again. The Bulls dribble drive right to the rim. There's a kick and now a timeout on the floor. Our under eight as it's 60-54. Buffalo up six over Drake here in the U.S. Virgin Islands at the 2022 U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. In attendance, coming to St. Thomas Island from St. Croix. Darnell Brody puts in two on an out-of-bounds play. Over 300 youth coming up for the U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam opening day, in which all eight teams are in action. The top half of this bracket with Buffalo and Drake. You have Howard and Wyoming. They'll take the court next. The bottom half of the bracket, Tarleton State, Belmont, Boston College, and George Mason. And Drake is within two once again at 60-58. Well, Buffalo's been able to answer those charges. Let's see if they can do it again. Deflected by Brody. It'll be Bulls basketball underneath. Two quick baskets by Drake out of that timeout. Buffalo has dominated the points in the paint over Drake, and they've got to the free throw line equal amounts, but Drake has left a lot of empty points at the free throw line, just 6 of 12 from the line. Seven minutes to play in this one. It's been a back-and-forth game. Hardnett has been the guy for Buffalo here in game one. He's just rung up 20 points. DeVries going hard to the rack. How about Harden it? Tying his career high. That 20-point performance against Central Michigan in February 2021. He came to this game from distance just one of five. He's knocked down two triples here in this game out of three attempts. This is a Buffalo team that impresses you with their amount of depth. Now, that last drive to DeVries, he's right-handed, but he loves on that left wing. If you overplay that dribble drive to the right, he'll beat you with his left hand as he did on that last drive and drew the contact. He missed Just the open freshman year in the Valley last year, and this year voted the preseason polls is the top player in the Missouri Valley. Led the team 14 points per game. Had four and a half rebounds per contest. 76 assists on the year as well. And Kevin, he'll play some defense as well. 30 blocks on the air, 35 steals. Just came out of Waukee High School. And ESPN's top 100 list. Tucker DeVries, of course... Easy recruiting job by his dad, Darren. He said, I just upped his allowance. Couple extra meals. And DeVries just whistled for that foul. That's his fourth personal foul. So he'll check out here with 6.34 to play. 
Buffalo the basketball. Three-point lead. Guarded by Penn. Penn called for the contact. And Foster will step up to the line. Foster's been steady in this game as well. 15 points for him, and he's 6 for 6 at the free throw line. Foster's really good in the first half. Penetration. Making some tough shots. Greg's had a difficult time throughout this game keeping Buffalo out of the paint. And as Coach DeVries told us from Drake, a one-on-one ability to control the dribble drive will be huge in this game. And you can see why, because this Buffalo team is always on the attack. Quickness on the perimeter. I've been impressed by the Buffalo Bulls. Kanye Jones into the game. Powell checks out. He has 13 points, six rebounds. There's a near steal by Jones. And Jones thought he had one. He thought he had a pick six on that one. Penn with the basketball. Seven on the shot clock. Pull up jumper. Tough shot. Knocks it in over Jones. Now Penn came that Wofford game late in the game. Made some big shots. Now the Bulldogs to pull that one out. See if he can do it again with DeVries on the bench. Here's Foster from the free throw line. Left it short. Now Drake, an opportunity to tie or take the lead with five and a half to play. Wilkins to Penn for three. Yes. Two big baskets. By the senior, the graduate, he's working on his master's degree, Roman Penn. Timeout taken by Buffalo. Wilkins finding Penn. But last matchup, I'm really looking forward to Boston College and George Mason, both coaches in their second year, trying to make a move up the ladder. For Drake fans, maybe keep an eye out for that third game. Belmont, a newcomer to the Missouri Valley Conference down here in the same MTE. Here's Harden. It draws a lot of attention. Gets his own rebound, and the putback is good. A new career high, 20 points for LaQuil Harden. He has been sensational. Stuck with it that time. The lefty able to get the basket in. He goes back to the Bulls. Wilkins on the drive. Left hand, no good. Rebound. Goes to Jack. Well, Wilkins out of control. Flipped that one up. Hoped it went in. Sid Powell's come alive here in this second half. 13 points for him on the game. Draws the foul. Will go to the line. He had just five at halftime. Well, this will be the 18th and 19th free throw attempt by Buffalo, and they've been excellent at the line, 82%. I've been really impressed by this Bulls team. They've kind of picked their times when to attack, when to pull it out. It's good pace by Buffalo. Coach Whitesell talked about it yesterday. Our defensive pressure is good, but we're allowing our opponent to get to the free throw line too much, and we're not attacking and getting to the line. They're doing that here today, Kevin. They have flipped the script, and that's some good coaching. They were making 14 free throws a game in their three contests and giving up 25. Way too much for Coach Whitesell. Powell with one more free throw to go. Joe Smith back on the floor. Jack checks out for Buffalo. Good minutes from Jack. Tucker DeVries back in playing with four personal fouls for Drake. It's important you have to bring Tucker back in. It's a 2-3 zone from Buffalo. Sturts to the middle. Out to DeVries. And Brody almost tipped that one in. But Smith comes away with it. Now Buffalo looking for a basket to try and pull ahead here. Approaching our final media break. Hardnett just continuing to roll. 
Hardnick with great height at 6'8". He can put the ball on the floor. Use that length to score. And now we have a technical foul down in the corner on Hardnick. And we're going to step aside. Timeout on the floor. Buffalo by five. We'll sort out the free throws after this break. This is game one. The U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. That left side. Halftime. About to get a fruity cocktail. Absolutely. Right behind the Buffalo bench. Right now we have Tucker DeVries up to the free throw line. A Class A technical foul has been called on Laquil Harden at two free throws. And Drake gets the basketball. And man, late in the game, a four-point lead turns to a two-point lead. And an opportunity. Excuse me, a three-point lead. Opportunity to tie or pull within one here. Could be a four-point play for Drake. This is where a guy like Hardnick, you've got to keep your emotions under control. DeVries goes for the five-point five play. Five-point play. 70-70, 350 to play. Let's reset it and decide who wins our opening game. Drake coming back. There's Brody jumping into Foster and draws the foul. Well, Brody got his money's worth on that foul. You're going to make sure that Foster cannot get the ball up on the rim. Again, though, we see the Bulls at the free throw line. They've been there so much, they're going to have to start paying real estate taxes. 16 of 19. At the free throw line, Foster up to the charity stripe. Seven of nine now, just two misses up at the line. DJ Wilkins checks in for Sadar Calhoun for Drake. Zamani Foster, grad transfer from Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Division II program. Went 33 and 3 a season ago, made it to the national semis. Misses them both. And now Drake an opportunity to take the lead. Pinned back in the game to run the show for the Bulldogs. The all-conference guard. Roman Penn to DeVries. As Foster falls down, DeVries buries another three-pointer. That is... Lather, rinse, and repeat for DeVries. Same spot, same results. That right corner knocked in another triple. That's now 23 points for Tucker DeVries, who had who had just three points at halftime. Brody with a rebound. Foster rips it away. And the official stops play for the shot clock. Now, it depends, did Brody have possession of it? Because I thought he did, and they do. Instead of putting 20 up on the clock, they put it back to 30. Minus the three seconds of action. He's going to try to get in right the game. He's going to go with two guards. Defensively, he doesn't want Tucker DeVries to pick up a foul. And they're given, they've also reset the score, Kevin, is 72-70. So Tucker credited now with two points on that last shot, toe on the line. That may have also been a reason for the stoppage in play. Three from the right wing. Harden it. The rebound. He's got a double-double and a blocking foul called on Sturts. This is a very small lineup for Drake. They're playing with four guards. Pin, Sturts, Wilkins, and Enright with one big, and they give up the offensive rebound. And they're going to get the bump right there. Buffalo wanted the and one. They're trying to get the basket, but it's called before the shot. So it'll be two free throws here for Harden. It. That was pretty good defense by Sturts. Looked like he had held his ground. How about Laquil Harden, it, the senior? The only senior with three years with the Bulls. 
has a career high 24 points, also has 11 rebounds. That ties his career high as well. Misses the front of the one and one. But Jones keeps the possession alive. Buffalo an opportunity to tie or take the lead. And there's a foul on Tucker DeVries. That will be number five. And Tucker can't believe it. Big blow to Drake. Their number one scorer is going to take a seat with five fouls, but nice play by Hardnett to attack the rim and draw the contact. Just two points off his career high, Tucker DeVries, with 22 points on 7 of 12 shooting. Three rebounds. 11 offensive rebounds for the Bulls that they have attacked the window. Hardnett gets the free throw to fall. 25 points now to go along with his 11 rebounds. A career game here to open up the 2022 Paradise Jam for Laquil Hardnett. You think Laquil Hardnett likes Paradise? He's having a fantastic afternoon here at the Sports and Fitness Center. Use that sunshine to warm up his basketball game, and Roman Penn goes to work. An and one opportunity coming for the senior. Roman Penn, first team All Valley in 2021. Actually, was a candidate for Player of the Year that year. Then last year, he played most of the season with a pin in his foot, off-season surgery. The experience is coming through. For the strike team. Playing on a minute's restriction. Connor Enright comes into the game for Calhoun. Now Penn and Brody both playing with four personal fouls as well for Drake. Already now without Tucker DeVries the rest of the way. He's fouled out of the game. Leading scorer on the season and in this game. Here's Powell. Offensive foul. Enright takes the charge. That's twice the freshman in right has made a great play defensively he did it early in the game watch him slide his feet now we got some new rules here as long as you're a defender you're not taking the space away from the offensive player he's laterally sliding that is a great play kevin when we right. talk to the officials too they talk about dipping your shoulder that'll make it an easy call for the guys in stripes no question and in right i know Darren DeVries was very high on that freshman, Richard, in last year. With Roman Penn shot at the free throw line, no good. And Hartnett, another rebound, a new career high for him. He has 12. For Buffalo, you want to attack the paint again. Have great success on the drive. Bulls down three, Jones with the ball, hounded by Sturts. Harden it. Left it short and starts the rebound. Wilkins switched. Now Harden it. Harden it pulled up short. A little off balance on that shot. Coach Whitesell yelling for his guys to not foul. Here's a back cut by Sturts and a big two for the Bulldogs senior. This is the type of the game that Penn, that Roman Penn excels in. Late game situations. Bounce pass. That's a graduate fifth year pin to another fifth year player starts. Let your experience show one of the keys for the Bulldogs when this game started. Back to play after a quick clock reset. Here's Foster, tough two. No good, and the rebound to Sturts. A good defense by Penn. Roman Penn now drawing a double team and a foul comes. Penn was going to call a timeout, but Curtis Jones whistled for the foul before Penn was awarded the timeout. So 
to the free throw line goes Roman Penn. Drake now a five point lead with 38 seconds left. Penn started his career at Siena, transferred into Drake. Darren DeVries' his first year. Set out as a red shirt. And we missed early the Drake's all time career assist leader. Roman Penn all smiles after banking in the free throw in the final minute. That one did not come out of his hand. He knew it. He's still right smiling away. about it. That didn't come out right. <laughs> That's what he meant to do. Seven point lead now for the Bulldogs. They got to go quick. Bulls got to go quick. Foster, tough two from the baseline. Penn with the rebound. Shot clock is turned off. Enright gets fouled by Foster. And so Enright will go to the free throw line. How about Buffalo, Kevin? The nine point lead, but the big push from Drake in the second half. Well, think about that technical. There they got the five point play the Bulldogs did on the technical by Hartnett. Hartnett. With really cost the it, it swung the momentum to the Bulldogs timeout on the floor taken by Jim White cell Buffalo team this season picked in a Mac in the first half Pitt came in made some big baskets for the Bulldogs and now you've got in right the freshman point guard at the free throw line Connor in right Red shirt freshman benefited from Penn's injury. Really got him acclimated to this Drake offense and just playing together with all the first team guys. Well, Penn's only practiced for about 10 days. So Enright has ran this team through most of the preseason. Really helped the freshmen grow up. Roman Penn's 12 points. 10 of them came in the second half. Harden it. Misses. Penn the rebound and the Drake Bulldogs are going to win game one here at the U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. They'll get tomorrow off. They will play on Sunday at 4.15 Central Time. That'll be 2.15 Central Time. Or excuse me, no, they'll play Sunday evening 